we got a lot of interesting stuff coming your way. As you can see, I'm shaved. I took a shower even. It's a big day, so get ready. You know, I'm rocking the Hawaiian shirt. We'll be right back. Roll red. Take red. <laughs> Welcome back, Journal 2.0. Once again, I'm your host, HFK. We got a lot of interesting stuff coming your way. Kyle Lennon went on and did a story on urban exploration. Our own Jay Dracul went out to Circa Nightclub and covered a fashion show. So this is all coming up. My homie, Andre Williamson, we're going to be watching that right now. He did a story on a biker. Now, we all know a lot of interesting people with stories, but the guy he did the story on has some jaw-dropping tales. You might want to check it out. We'll be right back. Roll green, take green. My name's Scott. I uh, basically, you know, grew up a normal kid, I guess, you know, family of three. You know. It's still the mom, I was with my mom for many years. My dad left when I was a kid, but uh, I went to school at Woburn. You know, uh, just down the street, and uh, eventually went to Centennial College for Police Foundation. So during this time, you know, everybody finds themselves rushed, finds what are they going to do with life, where are they going to go in life, and I hadn't answered that question for myself. Who am I going to be? What am I going to be? What kind of man am I going to be? And that's, society would like to rush you at that time, and I, well, I had to make a decision. So I decided to go out west. Uh, I had always loved the mountains and the trees, and that's just the personality I am. I love the outdoors, and I said, well, let's go work out there for a little bit. I had this opportunity to go tree planting. I got hired by a company, and they said, hey, come on, come on down. That's basically how it all began. And this is where I started, Vancouver. Stayed there a couple of days in the dirtiest hostel I've ever been in. I actually went along the 7, seven Highway to Hope um, and went north from from hope to merit and got to this place called rogers pass it starts to get to wilderness and forest and just huge evergreen trees like untouched by man and this is this is where i found myself this is basically where i found where i knew that this is this is going to be a good trip i continued on my trip and went to golden incredible town just continued along the Trans-Canada Highway until I got to Banff National Park. I like the mountains. I like the ruggedness of the mountains, and that's what that's what I was tracked to and everywhere in BC. Well, I'm starting to get out of there. So Calgary kind of hit a, you know, hard part. Like, I didn't like it very much. And I go to this park. It's in the middle of town, I guess. And I start setting up my tent. And these kids, kids like, I don't know, 14, 15 years old, like, you know, basically it's their bedtime. They should be, you know, <laughs> they should be in bed. And uh, I'm setting up my tent and they start bothering me, right? Like they start poking my tent and running away. And it's like I got up, I'm like, oh, these kids are bothering me again. I'm getting, I'm going to get them, right? I basically open my tent and start chasing. I, I start getting out and start chasing like I was going to start chasing them. And I look up, I'm like, what do you want? Because I, I saw someone there. It was a cop. And RCMP <laughs> was like, so why are you here? And I said, I gave him my story. I was like, well, I'm biking home. He's like, okay, so where do you live? I'm like, Toronto. <laughs> He's like, okay, there's no way. Are you, like, on drugs? <laughs> like, basically, he, he thought I was insane. I started telling him, like, well, I've been doing this bike ride. And he started, and he's like, okay, that's amazing, actually. He started believing my story, and he's like, okay, wow, I can't believe what's going on. He's like, okay, man, just uh, get up in the morning and just keep going, you know, we don't want people concerned that you're going to stay here for a long time, he's like, yeah. I'm like, no problem, I'll be out of here early in the morning if I can just get some sleep, he's like, okay, sorry for bothering you, he left, well, you know, the next day I was hitting Saskatchewan, I'm hitting a new province, I was kind of excited, I was like, yes, a new province, let's keep going, 
and I was getting excited again because uh, the prairies were starting to die out here. I was, <laughs> they were starting to look a little less of wheat, but now a little bit more corn, I guess. <laughs> so I was, I was getting excited. I was getting closer to Ontario. I finally hit Winnipeg. I stayed there for a few days, kept going, and uh, just kept going. Stopped there, stayed there the night, and started in the morning. I had gotten lots and lots of rest, so I was ready to go, basically. I really was getting very close to Toronto. Um, actually, it was only 138 kilometers away. Uh, kept in contact with my girlfriend every day, and we decided that Friday at seven o'clock at night is when I would uh, is when I would come home. Slowly, slowly rid through Road Markham Road, all the way down. Uh, slowly, as slow as I could, just to, taking it all in. I hadn't seen Toronto in many months, I guess, and it was it was good. And uh, I arrived home at my girlfriend's house, actually. Um, and uh, the, the, the the sweetest and best thing that could ever happen, uh, my friends and my girlfriend were all waiting there with, with a ribbon across the road, you know, uh, to signify it's the finishing line. Here, you're done. Welcome home. And it was the coolest thing I had seen or ever felt in, in a long time. And uh, at that point... I had knew knew in my heart that uh, all was better, and that uh, I had accomplished what I wanted to do. Haha, <laughs> well, that's some pretty wild stuff. Now let's move it along. You may know fashion recently came to an end, but that doesn't mean the pretty ladies have stopped walking down the runway. Kid Robot came to Circa recently, and covering an event was Jay Dracul. Let's see what he was able to capture. Check it out. 